Hey guys, I just wanted to do a kind of a short video describing how these flying capacitor capacitive active balancers work. And so I was kind of uh, wonder, wondering it myself. So I started uh, looking at the circuit and the traces on the bottom and uh, it's a little difficult because it has this conformal coating on it so I can't really probe anything uh, unless I try to scrape this off but the traces are defined enough to where I could I could pretty much see what's going on so these are MOSFETs these are all in-channel MOSFETs here and here. And then these are all the capacitors. And it's a relatively simple circuit. Um, essentially what it does is these are series MOSFETs and these are the parallel MOSFETs. So what I mean is when these are on these are all on at the same time it puts these capacitors in series with your battery cells which in turns allows uh, the voltage from each cell to enter this capacitor bank this capacitor bank this capacitor bank and so on and so forth so this capacitor each one of these capacitor banks will mirror the voltage that uh, your your cells are currently at they will charge up to that level of voltage then this uh, series uh, MOSFETs they switch off and then the parallel MOSFETs switch on these put all these capacitors in parallel and equalize the voltages amongst all of them then to complete the process those parallel MOSFETs open and the series close again and then that connects the capacitors back in series with your cells and that will either uh, charge a, a cell that might be lower than the average of the voltage across all these capacitors or it might soak in some power uh, from a cell that might be higher. Uh, so it's a very simple concept. I was actually quite surprised how simple it was and it's quite elegant. So let's let's take a look at the schematic. Uh, I, I just I just kind of drew up a very simple simplified schematic so we can un uh, so you can see it and understand. So here it is in the simplest form. We did a, I did a, a 4S. So here's your batteries, cell uh, 1 through 4. Uh, and then this is basically the balancing circuit. Uh, so here's the series switches, which are, are the MOSFETs. And here's the parallel switches, or MOSFETs. So when the series MOSFETs close, these series switches close, it puts the, the capacitor bank in series with each cell. So let's say that this cell is 2.5 volts, the cell adjacent to it is 3.5 volts, then 2.5, then 3.5. So when these parallel switches are open and then these close, these capacitors will charge up. So this one will charge up to 2.5. This one will charge up to 3.5. Then 2.5. Then 3.5. Then the series switches will open again. The parallel switches will close. So when all these close, it puts these capacitors in, in parallel. As you can see right here, there's a, uh, there's a negative bus there. And then this is a positive bus. So when these close, these all go in parallel. So this capacitor will be at 2.5, 3.5, 2.5, 3.5. When these go in parallel, these capacitors will equalize. 
So the 2.5s will go up, the 3.5s will go down. Uh, so what is the, so I, I guess it'll go to like roughly three volts. So these are, this will go up to three volts. This one will come down from 3.5 to three, to three, 3.5 to three. That's correct, right? Let me do the math. I'm not good at mathing in my head. I gotta use a calculator. 2.5 plus 3.5 equals six divided by two, three. Yes, I was correct. So, uh, yeah, these will equalize. Instead of this one being 2.5, 3.5, 2.5, 3.5, they'll become three. The parallel uh, switches will open it'll these capacitors will go out of parallel mode and then the series switches will close the capacitors will go back into series mode and then your 3.5 this will be three your your this cell will be 3.5 so that means that there's some power that's going to go back into this so that this is going to go up so it's going to suck power from this cell to bring this from three to 3.5 again right this will be at three. Uh, this cell is at 2.5. So now we will be sending pow the power in this capacitor to this cell since this has a lower uh, voltage potential, right? So we're gonna suck power out of that. This one is going to be above the three. So we're at 3.5. So we're gonna charge that capacitor up to, to 3.5 again. So power is going to go that direction. And again, this capacitor will be at three, the cell is at 2.5, so power is going to flow in this direction, and that capacitor will drain. And the process just keeps repeating. I think it probably happens quite, quite fast. There's a, there's a little microcontroller uh, or, or some kind of switcher, switch on the board that literally just switches between this uh, at some frequency. What frequency that is, I don't know yet. Uh, probably pretty fast, probably in the kilohertz range. But yeah, so simple, elegant. Um, this is literally basically doing what we always do when we get a new uh, pack of cells. We put them all in parallel to, to, to average out the voltage across them, right? And then, of course, we apply a, a charge to, to bring them all up to top balance. But this is doing that, but just all the time. So anyways, I hope uh, you like this explanation. I hope this um, helps you understand how these work and why they work. And uh, there's no magic to it. It's a very simple, and I think it's quite elegant. Actually, I might want to, uh, I'm almost itching to build my own uh, larger one. <laughs> so, so we could... Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to uh, transfer more power, if that's even possible. But there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.